Welcome to Viking Tools for Revit. In this video, we'll create our custom sprinkler head legends. This is done through the Viking Symbol Manager. The Symbol Manager summarizes the different sprinklers used in the project and creates a schedule that can be customized and inserted into the desired sheets. This small sample project has two levels with a simple sprinkler head layout on each. I've created a sheet, inserted the two levels into the sheet. To create the head legends, return to the symbol manager, select create a legend. This creates a schedule for us that can be modified as needed for the project. The symbol manager creates a schedule titled Viking Sprinkler Legend. Open that schedule to see what is created, and then we will tweak the schedule to look uh, like you might want it to appear in your project. For example, you might use quantity instead of count and description instead of type in your headings. You can control the headings that you prefer. First thing we'll do is we'll rename the schedule. We're going to call this Combined Viking Sprinkler Legend. Notice that the heading changes in the new description of, of the schedule. We'll go in and click on the, uh, column, the, the column header we wish to change. We'll change this to Quantity. We'll change count to quantity, and we'll change type to description. Next, we need to add a column. So we'll right-click on the last column header, insert a new column, and select the header to add. In this case, select Level, as we're going to sort our results by this option. Return to the Scheduled Properties and review the fields and then select Sorting and Grouping. The default sorting is by type, then by orientation. We need to add another option so that we can also select to sort by level. Click OK and notice that the sprinklers are now sorted by type description and level. Return to the sheet that we've set up and drag the schedule into the sheet. Now you can adjust some of the column widths uh, so that it will display the way you wish uh, the uh, schedule will look. It's just a matter of grabbing the uh, stretch tags and stretch in them right or left, expand them, narrow, uh, however you want them to look. The schedule now represents all of the sprinklers in the entire project. So the next step is to create additional schedules that will have the total separated by level. We'll go back to the properties, we'll select the combined schedule and duplicate it. This gives us a copy of the schedule that we can further edit. We'll also make a second copy and now we have three schedules to work with. We're going to rename the copies to represent the two levels. We'll change the first one to level one and uh, erase the copy one um, option at the end of that description and then change the uh, rename the second uh, to be level two. Now next we'll open level one and select filter from the properties. Select the filter by level. Notice that level one appears on the right column. Pick OK.
Now select Level 2 Schedule and do the same procedure. Filter by level and then select Level 2 from the drop-down list and then pick OK. Return to the sheet and now we're ready to insert our additional schedules that represent the sprinkler legend by level. Drag each of them into place and perform the same operation on this as far as stretching the columns uh, so that they are set up the way you want them to look for viewing. So here we have three sprinkler head legends, one for level one, one for level two, and a combined total for the entire project. So this is just a quick look at creating and customizing your sprinkler head legends. Thanks for watching.